Chef AJ McLeod from Eureka joins us. Thank you so much yeah, for being thank here. Thank you so for having you me. guys are in the West Village, huh? We're in the West Village now. Yeah, it's our first restaurant in in Dallas in Texas. Uh, West Village, uh, it's uh, McKinney and Blackburn. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. It's a hopping neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, it is. It You've is. got all sorts of ingredients here, and we're doing breakfast burrito, right? We, we are. We're doing an all-day breakfast burrito, so it's not just for breakfast. You can have it any time. Uh, we can go through this real quick. Yeah. I already started with a little bit of steak okay. uh, in the pan. Uh, we use flat iron, but this is a perfect mm -hmm. uh, thing for your leftover steak. I know in my household, there's never any leftovers, <laughs> uh, especially not steak. But if you but have it, have it right, okay. go ahead and use the leftover steak. And what we'll do is we're going to pop some of this in there. It's a pepper trio, red, yellow, green, a little bit of um, jalapeno, tomato. And I do this on Sunday. So I'll cut all my veg ahead of time. Things that I might use, like say in a soup or something. Okay. If you've got some, some grilled chicken, a little bit of stock. These things you throw in there, it makes a real colorful soup. So this is perfect for that. You can make one meal into a soup and one meal into a burrito. And into a burrito. Yeah. You can throw this into an omelet. You can. So I like to do this on my Sunday so that I'm set for the, for the week. Because okay, I know you guys are probably real busy, right? Yeah. So I just <laughs> pretend I am. So this is a potato. This is a breakfast oh, okay. potato, right? So we popped in a uh, tomato. We popped in a little bit of red onion. We got breakfast potato right there. Um, all we did is dice up a little bit of potato, cook it in a, a tiny bit of oil and butter. Okay. You don't have to use the butter if you don't want to. Okay. So we give that, and this gets finished real yeah. easily by just, what we've got here is cilantro. So we're going to throw some cilantro in there and a little bit of green onion. And that's because we like using fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. So. So what can people expect at Eureka? Like what's on the menu there? They can expect American craft. They can expect, you know, burgers, sandwiches, salads, steaks, chops. But um, we really celebrate the American craft. We have craft whiskeys, we have craft beers. We like to use local, okay? So with our burrito, we're using a Texas uh, or Dallas uh, tortilla company. Oh, Okay, yeah. so when we, we get into a community, we do as much local product as we can, right. as much local beer. So they can expect to be familiar uh, with the products that we use and, nice. and have comforting food. Yeah. Okay, so you take all this together, basically so it just kind of simmers together. Simmers together. So now that's that's pretty much done. And we're going to take the tortilla out. We put some cheese in your tortilla, wrap it up like you can see right here, and finish it with a ranchero sauce. So if you're from Texas, you probably know ranchero. Yeah. Um, ours has a lot of heat to it, so we like a little bit of kick. We right. balance that out. You're just trying to sell beer, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Well, you just, you just made my boss happy. <laughs> and then you have an egg on top of it. Yeah, so the egg, if you like to have that perfectly round shape, you don't need to have it. But I use this nice cast iron I pan. I love that idea. You know, it's a tiny little one. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of people is, here. Is that not the perfect egg? It just looks perfect. Mine yeah. never look like that. Yeah. Now get, I know get, the secret. Yeah, get yourself a tiny little pan. <laughs> well, welcome great. to the neighborhood, well, West thank Village you. Uh, in Uptown Dallas. And uh, we've got a link and we've got the recipe on the website, fox4news.com. We'll be right back.